Okay. So I hope I'm audible to you. Hi, hi friends. Welcome to 360 DigitMG channel, YouTube channel. So my name is Pradyumna. So today I got an opportunity to share my experience uh, with, uh, with you people regarding the how I, get, uh, how I got a job into this data science domain. So we will start with, I will start with uh, my first introduction first, then I will just go on with uh, how I did this transition from my previous domain to this data science domain. So my name is Pradyumna. I did my graduation in mechanical engineering. After that, I worked for almost six years in the same domain as a product design engineer. So after that, I I I, I was while working in the data the design engineering domain. I was thinking about doing something which is related to the business and business uh, decision making. So at the same time, from one of my friend I got to know about this data science uh, career path so in the meantime I started doing learning the things uh, from YouTube and all initially but uh, but as it is difficult to understand all the concepts and all the flow from the YouTube because there we need to search a lot and we are not getting sometimes the relevant information all those things were there so that's why I started looking for good uh, training uh, course uh, related to the data science. So I got to know about this 360 digit MG. So I enrolled into the course and I completed my course in three months. After that, parallelly, I was doing the assignments. So while having a course uh, while going through the course it was a very good experience because trainers are also good we have a option of uh, uh, switching the batches or taking the recorded videos from the different batches so those things helped me a lot i i gone through all most most of the trainers most of the senior trainers from the t60 digit mg so I got to learn more things from them. Parallelly, I was doing the assignments. While doing the assignments, I was getting the uh, proper help from the team also. So in this way, I have completed my assignments and my course curriculum. And after that, I started working on the project. The best thing is that we will get exposure to work on the project. So as I, I was having previous exposure to these things, so. I started looking out for the project which which are more uh, similar to my previous domain. But uh, in in this field, there is no restriction of such a things. If you are having a knowledge about any particular industry or domain, there it's well and good. If it is not there, then also you can go for any project, but to go into the depth of that project in terms of business, how, how you are generating the business or how you are analyzing the, their business. If you think in terms of that, and definitely you will get a more, uh, more opportunities outside, uh, outside the, uh, across the IT or analytics field. So this is all about my overall journey. Uh, so from last almost, uh, Almost three years, I was uh, I was looking for these kind of opportunities, and the uh, when I started looking out for a job, so I I have gone through almost around fifteen to twenty interviews from different companies. So uh, in meantime, I got an opportunity from two companies. One from the uh, one is from the TCS, other one is from the PwC, and third third one also was in process, but I I, I accepted the offer with the TCS, so that's why I went with this one. one um, third one was with the Cognizant, so I couldn't be able to uh, make the uh, all the rounds at last because I accepted this uh, offer. So in between, I left that uh, opportunity. 
so in this way i, I got uh, uh, into the tcs and currently i am working as a senior associate data scientist i am working in the banking and finance domain uh, and uh, having said that i can say in my resume i have mentioned the uh, projects which are related to the pharmaceutical industry which are related to the supply chain management and one was related to the oil and gas industry as i have a previous background from the mechanical engineering so i mentioned those uh, those uh, res those projects in my resume still i got a chance to work with a different domain which is banking and finance so uh, it's not a matter that from which background you are coming or for, from which experience you are coming. People will look for if, uh, if you are applying for the uh, entry level opportunities, they will look for how good you are in understanding their business. So how you can provide the solution to them in, in term by using the tools of data science. So that is more important. So i started with uh, the searching but and in uh, because of my previous experience good and sound experience my understanding related to the concept machine learning and uh, ai ml concepts and all, also the understanding related to the business intelligence and business development i got a uh, position as a senior um, associate data scientist so it depends on how how much uh, good fit you are into into in terms of thinking related to the related to the business building a business developing a business around so it, these these things matter most i'm telling those things for a number of times because nowadays the things are happening like people are coming with all good sort of knowledge uh, related to the data science in terms of curriculum but they do not have the knowledge that how which algorithm to select for which kind of problem which hyper parameters to select so they have the people are coming like if we give the business problem if we mention them this is the classification problem then they will apply logistic regression such kind of people will come but if they are if the uh, client person is asking you for what kind of solution you are trying to give this is my problem i don't know it's a, uh, he he is not aware about although it's a regression or a classification so your job is to uh, select the which kind of method that you have to follow in order to solve their problem or in order to propose the solution to them so these are the important things and while giving the interviews interviews are very important things so those one or two hours will will uh, will judge you uh, or will give you the good opportunities so even though you will get good packages based on those two hours also and nowadays the interviews are almost like there there will be three or four, four rounds so i also had a three rounds a technical three technical rounds first one was related to the python and sql second one was related to the uh, to the technical person from the team member third one from the manager and at last once you get into the uh, any organization after that there will be a client round in few companies they will keep the client round beforehand before joining of the company so you have to consider that if you are start started started applying for a job and you got an uh, got an screening from a hr first screening from there you need uh, at least a month to join a company so almost it will take a month to go through all these processes of uh, multiple rounds of interviews and all so this is all about the interviews so i also faced three rounds with cognizant also with pwc also and with uh, this tcs also with pwc uh, i i got an offer but it was on contract basis so it's uh, on third party payroll so that's why i chose to go with tcs and currently I'm working with uh, the predictive intelligence in a service bench. So it's uh, 
completely related to the predictive modeling and the mostly we are using machine learning concepts in few few problems or in few applications we are using the uh, nlp based algorithms also because we are for, for a few problems we are having some textual kind of data so in that case we are using some high level ai algorithms so it depends on the it depends on the project or a business problem that uh, we, uh, so this is all about the overall my journey from from doing a course uh, completing the assignments and then doing the projects mentioning the proper projects properly in a in a resume after that applying for the jobs and uh, uh, the rounds of interviews and number of interviews that i faced and at last the at last the offers and negotiation so this is a whole about my journey and currently i am also taking the interviews for the few candidates so so by looking at those my suggestion to the new aspiring data scientists that you just don't think the the project as an assignment think the project as a as a business case so if you are able to explain it in terms of that then it will be very beneficial for you to get into the, any company Re related to the 360 digit mg so i got a good support from from the sharad sir after that nitin sir was my trainer uh, <clears throat> so i got a good support from them and i was i was there in hyderabad i was there in bangalore also so it was a good journey and the i got few uh, new friends in bangalore also and in hyderabad so those who are uh, there with me in bangalore all of them got blessed due due, due to the uh, due to our efforts and the good guidance of a 360 digit tmg team so you just always go through the all the basic python sessions with basic sql sessions those are mandatory and 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 the basic concepts related to the statistics so these are very very important thing if you are and it depends on the companies also so you have to think in terms of that that for which company you are trying to apply is it a product based company it is it's or a or else it is a service based company so based on that also you have to think in terms of that so these are my few suggestions related to the what you can do and definitely if you if you give your 100% if you believe in yourself uh, and if you are in touch with all the 360 digit mg team then definitely you will get a get a good good uh, good salary and good package uh, opportunity no, no doubt about that so that's all about my journey and my experience and my suggest the suggestions from my side okay yeah thanks thank you team and thank you who are watching for watching this